five things not to do with your money so you don't end up like most people. Wealth isn't about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos. If you feel like you are following the rules to achieve the American dream, but are feeling like it's more of a bait and switch moment, then I promise by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you need to do to not follow the crowd. Tip number one, don't look like money. One of my favorite books that I read back in college before I got involved with finances is called Millionaire Next Door. And what I learned from this book is that most successful multimillionaire people that you know or exists, you can't even tell that they're wealthy because they don't wear their wealth. They take their wealth and they invest it to make more money. Mm -hmm. One tip that you can get from other multimillionaires is don't wear your wealth, invest your wealth so you can make more money. We definitely say that the people who are more successful financially understand the difference between liabilities and assets. Mm -hmm. So what's putting money in your pocket versus what's taking money out of your pocket. So since Darius was just talking about investing, point number two is don't invest your money like everyone else. And by this, what I simply mean is don't follow the majority, be the minority. Because the majority of people don't have $1,000 in savings, are struggling financially, and are still living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. So why do you want to continue to be associated with that same group of people if you're trying to do better with your finances? So you really have to take the time and do your due diligence to figure out what the minority of individuals are doing because that is the sweet spot of where money is actually being made and you're not necessarily being taken advantage of financially. And there's one bit of advice that Mr. Warren Buffett shared with us in regards to investing. He's a huge investor in the stock market. And he said, when everyone else is investing their money in the stock market, you should be taking your money out of it. And vice versa, when everyone else is taking their money out of the stock market, you should be putting your money into the stock market because you want to do the exact opposite of what most people are doing so that you're able to benefit from it. And the same thing applies not just with investing in the stock market, but with every investment that you, you make, whether mm -hmm. it's real estate, commodities, precious metals, whatever it is, you should always do the opposite of what the majority are doing. Comment below with an investment that you're making that you feel that isn't saturated with a whole bunch of people. And tip number three should be self-explanatory, but we have to reiterate it, and that is stop making dumb financial decisions. If you are spending and not having any money left over to save you are not doing well with your finances mm -hmm. so dumb things we consider are consumer items that you basically can't afford or don't necessarily need so that's excessive clothes that's excessive shoes that's excessive accessories mm -hmm. um, gambling investing in the lottery all of this is money that's being taken away from you and you're never going to be able to see that money again nor will be able to make a smart investment decision with it so if you can create cash flow that will allow you to buy those things that's a different thing mm -hmm. that's a whole different strategy in general <laughs> but the fact of the matter is create that cash flow create those systems so that you can live the lifestyle that you want but until then you don't need to be spending money on dumb things until you produce the cash flow tip number four don't save what's left over after you pay your bills save first and then pay your bills <laughs> my good friend mr. Warren Buffett said do not save what is left after spending, but spend what's left after saving. So make sure you don't put yourself last because you don't put yourself in a good position financially to benefit from all the hard work that you've done to even get the money in the first place. By putting yourself last, you'll always be last. And lastly, tip number five is do not let the banks tell you what you can afford. You need to understand your numbers. Mm -hmm. And this always happens within the mortgage realm, within the credit card realm. The bank is always willing to give you money, but it's up to you to figure out if you can afford that in the first place. Right. So I know uh, when a lot of people look for homes, the bank says you can afford a $500,000 home, but really you should probably be getting a $200,000 home because the monthly amount is more comfortable for you. But mm -hmm. what do we do? We continue to stretch, stretch, stretch ourselves. And what does that do for our disposable income it goes down making us last on the totem pole financially so like Darius said earlier always put yourself first in the financial positions know your numbers and do not let the banks dictate how much you can afford yes don't listen to the banks when they tell you how much you can afford when it comes to your mortgage your car because they're going to tell you exactly 
the highest point that you can afford so they can make the most money so you can have the least amount. <laughs> They're yeah. not on your side. They're on their side. <laughs> They're on their side to put more money into their pockets and take money out of your pocket. And that's with every financial decision that you make, regardless if it's a house, a car, credit cards, whatever the case may be. You mm -hmm. always have to think about the fact that the banks are, first and foremost, a for-profit institution. Mm -hmm. So they want to make sure that the products and services that they offer us as consumers are just as beneficial for them as they are for us. Mm -hmm. So you also have to really think about that interest that you're paying because over the long haul, that's money that you could have kept for yourself. Now that you have the five things that you should not do with your money, check out our online course called The Money Blueprint where we discuss your millionaire mindset, debt, the banking system, and infinite banking. What we've done for you is we wanna gift you with the first module of our Blueprint course absolutely free. So in the link below, make sure you hit that link and download the first module on us. Also, if you'd like to join a community of like-minded individuals who are all about infinite banking, then check out our Patreon community, where we share up-to-date information that we don't share anywhere else. Remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.